Hey guys, got a Vortex here. Uh, going through the instructions on the Emergence ROC uh, website. Want to give you just a quick video on how to do this. Uh, we've already made the cable that they uh, showed to make. Uh, we pulled a connector off a Pixhawk we had. Um, simply just soldered in a remote receiver lead to this cable. Pulled the right side panel off. It's the easiest way to get to it and plugged it into the GPS port here. Um, pretty straightforward. Um, we're gonna leave that side panel off now just for the sake of time. At this point, we're gonna download the Immersion RC tools and the beta firmware. Uh, we've already downloaded those. We have these up here. We also have Clean Flight up. Um, so we're gonna power up the model. Um, we did find some issues if you had Clean Flight open and the RC tool open at the same time. So we're just gonna close the RC tools at this time. Um, now I'm gonna connect the USB up to the Vortex. If you haven't connected the Vortex via USB yet, you have to have the driver installation going on. Um, the driver is in the install with the RC tools. Um, so automatically selected my COM port automatically. So what I did is I connected to uh, Clean Flight, backed up the default settings just so I had them uh, in case anything went wrong. At this time, we're gonna disconnect. I'm gonna go over to Firmware Flasher. And we're going to install the 1.9 for the NAS. We're going to load firmware online. And we're going to scroll down here and flash the firmware. So the Vortex will beep. Uh, another good thing, always make sure you have the props off anytime you're working on it on the bench and the battery's connected. Um, you know, things can happen, it's always better to be safe. So we'll just wait for this to finish up here. Almost done. This is step five, so we're going to go on to step six once this is finished here. So we're all good there. Gives us the happy tones. So now we're going to disconnect the battery, and I'm going to disconnect the USB, and we're going to recycle the battery here and let it go through its thing. Gonna beep. At this time, I'm going to push down the button in here next to the blue light for three to five seconds. I'm let go. Now I'm gonna go in here, plug the USB in at this time. I'm going to close out Clean Flight and I'm gonna open the RC tools. Automatically connected here. I'm going to go to the vortex and I'm going to hit program. Let it sit for a uh, you know a couple minutes if it takes it. It does take a couple a little bit of time. It's already picked up. So now I'm going to hit update firmware. Put the beta firmware on there. It won't take too long. This is pretty quick. Okay. At this time, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. You can leave the USB cable hooked up, repower it. I'm gonna go over to the config tab. This time, when you hook it up, if you did disconnect the USB, do not push the button. Um, that gets you into the program settings. So at this time, I want to read the vortex settings. At this time, uh, we have the settings here. It shows you your firmware version. Um, obviously, we're using Steve Petrato's vortex um, here as he put his name in because I crashed mine already. <laughs> um, so you can change your channel the battery uh, current, or the battery size. Um, and we're gonna wanna select Spectrum 2048. Also note, changing this will force the uh, transmitter wizard to restart. 
So you, if you've already done that from a different receiver, you will have to redo that again on boot up. So now we're going to upload the settings to the Vortex. And there we go. So now that's updated, we're going to disconnect the battery. I want to disconnect the USB. Um, you know, you can put your side panel at this time. At this point, you're going to want to rebind, you know, the receiver to the transmitter. Um, I put my transmitter program up on the file. You can download it in the description below. Um, I kind of like it set up more like a helicopter, just personal preference. So if you know you want to change the switch assignments or anything on that, um, you know, you can go ahead and do that. Um, what I've set up here, actually, we'll go back to the boot up menu is I put channel assignments, standard channel assignments, flight modes here, and I've actually set up a hold switch. So if I'm in throttle hold, that's how I boot it up. Is, you know, using helicopter terminology, motors are off. If I want to start flying, I just simply push the switch back, motors will start. Um, so once we're out of there, um, we just have uh, our normal setup here. We do have to change the endpoints. Um, as seen here, that'll automatically be in the file. Also, we have to reverse aileron and rudder. Um, other than that, you don't need to do anything. I have my timer set uh, pretty short. Um, just personal preference, you can change that as well. <clears throat> this file was uh, just modified from the original file on Immersion's website. So if you've already started there, no problem. You can you know make some quick changes or change it to however you like. So I'm gonna just close the RC tools. Now that we've updated the Vortex, um, the OSD and the uh, clean flight parameters. We're going to bind the receiver. Uh, this one's already been bound, so we'll just redo it here. Uh, it won't take but a minute. So I'm hooked up to another receiver. So we got that kit connected. Go ahead and disconnect that there, set that stuff aside, rehook up the receiver to the other cable we made. This time we're going to power up the vortex. Go ahead and let it boot up. Going to hook up the USB. Now we're going to open clean flight back up. I have that over here in my apps. Clean flight. I'm at Uncom 15, gonna connect it at this time. Now we're gonna go over to receiver and you'll see all your channels are working. Um, we did change the channel map. You will have to change the channel map to the spectrum setting there. Um, make sure you hit save. So just double check everything, roll works, pitch, yaw, throttle. We do have our flight mode switches and my throttle hold switch there on Octa 2, you'll see it there. Um, as you see, it's working. Config, uh, we did turn one shot on. Um, did like that. Make sure you save and reboot there when you turn one shot on. Uh, it's working really well. <coughs> as for the flight modes, um, we did add this arm in here just by clicking add range. Uh, we can delete that one. So it'll pop up here. And this is our, what we call throttle hold that I use. So you can see the settings down here uh, for the motors off. To arm it, I just you can just drag and drop these values. Um, once you're done with that, hit save. Didn't have to change any of the angle horizon modes. Um, they have those set up already, uh, working really well. Do make sure you change that to aux two. Um, once you do that, everything should be set up. Go ahead and disconnect. Um, and at this time, you know, you can disconnect the USB. Um, but for instance, you know, this hold switch here. Everything's working. So we're good to go at this point. Spectrum receiver's lit up. Uh, go ahead and hit throttle hold. Uh, install the props on your side panel. And you're good to go. Thanks.